Scout's been building boats since 1989. It's one of those boats when you see it on the water you always look twice at because they are so beautiful. Well the Potts family, of course they want to build a boat that looks good, but they also want to build a boat that ages gracefully. But how do you do that? You start with a family that has so much passion and, and so much belief in what they do and, and passion behind their product and then you take the best quality materials that you can find and then you use attention to detail in the manufacturing process and that is how you make beauty last. I'm Alex Wilkes with the Viage Group. Welcome on board the Scout 400 LXF. We're starting today's walkthrough up on the bow. The first feature I'm going to point out is our anchor locker, which obviously houses the windlass for the anchor. But one thing I like to mention on our boats is we have a dedicated freshwater washdown for the windlass. This hose does pull out, it'll reach about midship. Um, but what I like to do is turn that nozzle on to a spray, and then you can close this door here. Then it sort of creates a car wash effect for the windlass for the chain then as it's coming up. You've got up and down pedals uh, right here for the windlass. You can obviously also control the windlass from the helm. Moving a little further back is our bow seating. And one thing that Scout's done a phenomenal job at here is our forward seats are, uh, are fixed, they're molded in. So it's not a, a drop-in backrest that are typically straight up and down. This has a bit of a rake to it. So you can see, I mean, it's a very comfortable seat with that angle behind me on my back um, and plenty of room for my legs. I'm about six feet tall. So really nice, comfortable seat. Underneath all this seating up here is storage and all of our boxes are insulated up here. So not only can it be dry storage, it's also a great place to hold some ice. Uh, port and starboard are identical. The one here in the front also has a hatch that opens and gives you access to that anchor line and chain. Underneath my feet is additional storage and just forward of that is our recessed electric bow table. So as you can see, it stows fully flat to the floor and then you can raise it up just underneath the cushions. There is a filler cushion that makes this area into a little larger sun pad. And then obviously that table comes all the way up so that you can eat. This 400 that we're on today has Scout's Midnight Edition package. So that is additional black accents, um, not only along the T-top, but also your handrails, which run along the gunnels. And then it's also up here in the bow. So something I'd like to add to our bow seating is you have a place to put your hand when you're sitting up in that bow seating. It just makes it feel that much more secure when you're running. Just behind the forward seats, as we're heading back, you've got a cup holder for the people that are sitting here in the bow, uh, but then you also have our molded in cooler. So I'll open this lid. You can see as I stick my arm in here, I mean, this is a nice deep insulated box, which is great for holding ice and drinks. Behind that is our Fusion Stereo, one of our speakers. Uh, and then you also have a catch-all. I, I love using this spot to throw a couple dock lines in a hurry, but it's also great for just throwing knickknacks throughout the day uh, as you're walking through the boat. On the port side is a fill cap for the water tank, a uh, midship cleat, a rod holder. Uh, we can do additional rod holders. As you can see, we've had, actually added some extra up here in the bow of this 400. And then on the port side is your controls for the bow table up and down. Moving just slightly back is one of our centerpieces on the boat. Uh, it's our chase lounge. 
which you know there's a lot of chase lounges on these types of boats in front of the console which is you know just meant to be that forward seat but what scout does in extra is we're adding a little bit of contour to the seat so it's just really really comfortable to sit here most of the wives of owners of 400s they, this is their favorite spot on the boat um, you also have a drop down piece here in the center which has two additional cup holders and then you you have a port armrest and a starboard armrest in the front side of the chase is a storage locker. This also houses the transom ladder. Moving down the starboard side, as I mentioned before, uh, your cooler box is mirrored over here. You have another one of the 10 JL speakers and two subs uh, on board. You also have an additional Fusion remote up here so you can control the bow separately for the guests that might be up here and want to have a little bit more conversation than, than stereo. Just on the front side of this catch-all is two USB ports. So you could actually have a phone here plugged in and charging. This is also on the port side. Uh, and then just below my left knee is a stainless cap. So this is a drain. One thing that Scout does before they marry the deck to the hull is they actually plumb all of their rod holders and cup holders to drain onto the deck. And then just over here on the console is a big window for the cabin, as you can see, providing tons of natural light. We're gonna save the cabin for last, so please stay around. Moving down the starboard side, uh, you've got a really nice handhold here that you can hold on to walking forward or aft on the boat. Obviously it's on the port side as well, but because this is part of the midnight edition, this, this handrail is black, which goes with the theme of the boat. Uh, over here on the console, is something unique to scout this is your line locker also a great place to to stow uh, you know a boat pole or some gaffs and then mentioning this door just talking about the details of scout this is a, a solid fiberglass door no starboard here solid fiberglass really nice big heavy door and then scout uses a friction hinge on this which you know a traditional hinge allows this door to kind of feel sloppy it's a little windy today and I can even let go and that door is staying in place. This is a really nice feature that Scout's done. So one thing to mention on both the port and starboard side of the console, uh, because we use a singular tank, which is almost 400 gallons on the 40, uh, where other, others might have a saddle tank, we're able to do really huge storage boxes. Uh, and I'll open this up for you. But you can see, I mean, this will fit a sea bob, additional covers, fenders, maybe your bow shade, spare anchor, really huge storage. And again, this is also on the port side. Continuing aft, we come to one of the most important parts of the boat here is the helm station. So the first thing I'll mention, because today is 60 degrees, is all three of these seats are heated. Every time I tell a customer that, they think I'm crazy for having heated seats, but I tell you what, on a day like today, where it's 60 degrees and we're doing 40 plus to get to this anchor spot, it's amazing. Um, and then also, this is one of our new upholsteries. This is a Bianca. It is a Scout White with a little bit of black stitching. So again, with a shark gray hull, midnight edition, and the Bianca interior, the theme of this boat is just absolutely stunning. Moving up to the helm, uh, the face plate here is black, which is really nice. It really reduces the glare. Uh, and then you have Garmin electronics, two 16 inch screens on the outside, and then a big 22 inch right in the center. On the starboard side here, I've got our bow camera set up, which this is a, a patented camera that Scout has. It's a fisheye lens, which is amazing when you're coming into a tight docking situation, but also, where I love to use it is at anchor. Uh, as you can see, you can see the chain coming down. So when you're, when you're bringing that anchor down or up, uh, you don't have to be up in the bow. You can stand here, one hand on the joystick, one hand on the windlass controls, and you can see where your line is. So bringing up and down that anchor, it just really makes a huge difference having that camera. And then uh, on the 40, we have a really big deep glove box. Uh, which is you know, just a great catch-all, but you also have charging in there, USB charging ports. That's where your phone to Garmin via HDMI connection would be. Um, and then you also have uh, the auxiliary connection for the Fusion if you chose to connect your phone that way instead of using Bluetooth. 
Bow thruster controls, uh, you know, some people say, what do you need a bow thruster for with a, with a joystick boat? You know, on this size, because we have a tremendous amount of bow flare on the boat, I think the, the bow thruster is really a nice extra. It is a proportional thruster, so you can lightly touch it, it'll give you a little bit of thrust, and then obviously the more you hold it down, the more thrust you get out of it. You've got a Mercury display here, which is gonna give you all of your Mercury data. I really like running with this uh, and having the, the page that shows me my RPM, my coolant pressure, my temperature, oil pressure, engine trim, and then also fuel. Uh, so that's really a nice additional display to have. And then you have our zip wakes. So these are our automatic trim tabs. That's really something that's been growing pretty tremendously over the past few years in the industry. Uh, they work phenomenally well on our boats. Uh, and then we're actually all, also able to program that personality to the way the boat likes to run. You know, we have some customers down in Naples, for example, where they're running up and down the ICW and it's a 25 mile an hour zone. So we program that personality of that boat to really keep that bow down very, very low at a speed of less than 30 miles an hour. It also has a gimbal built in that, that controls the roll of the boat. Um, if you have you know, a windier day that's blowing the boat to one side, or maybe you have a lot of people sitting up on the bow on the port side, the zip wake's gonna automatically correct that for you. Mercury joystick, you know, obviously this is gonna give you the, the ability to do docking via joystick, but also it has your, your sky hook, which is your GPS anchor, your heading hold, your autopilot, and then also the, uh, the autopilot that will follow a course that you plot on the chart. Then you have your Mercury throttles, which you have your start stop on the port side of this throttle. You have individual start stops at the bottom, individual motor trim on the front. And then you have, of course, your, your trim that you can trim both motors at the same time. You have your ability to control your active trim here. So that's the automatic trim of the motors themselves, a throttle only, and then a, a single lever control. So above the helm is what I like to call our quick access switching. So most of this stuff is tied into our digital switching page or our vessel management system. Um, but you do have your windlass controls, which I mentioned earlier, your shade in out switch. Uh, you can operate the, the bilge pumps manually from here quickly and then your horn. On the, on the port side is your Seakeeper display, uh, which this is also tied into the Garmin screen so you can control the Seakeeper from the Garmin. And then this boat also has a razor light. So that's where we put the razor light switches all the way on the port side. And then just behind my head is our, is our VHF. Underneath the helm seats is a pretty important area and I went ahead and opened it up for you. Uh, but you have some resettable DC fuses in here, uh, some different breakers for things like your windlass, uh, the shade, the beach door. But then there's two boxes or three boxes here that are, are very important. It's actually our redundancy to the digital switching that's in the Garmin. So what's nice that Scout's done this is uh, in the event that your Garmin's were to fail and you don't have access to your digital switching anymore, then you can just go to these boxes. And for example, if you're out running, uh, your Garmin's fail, you can turn your navigation lights on and get home. Uh, so really, really great uh, use of redundancy here underneath the helm seat. Moving over to the port side from the helm station, uh, you have your dive ladder for the beach door. So this is a nice place where it actually has a place to stow. And then your uh, additional storage box, which we mentioned earlier. On the port side of the leaning post, we have the layout of three tackle drawers. And then you have your switch for the uh, convertible mezzanine seat. On this particular 400, we have the refrigerator in the leaning post on the starboard side. You also have a GFI outlet for the grill uh, and then the rocket launchers up and down switch. Moving aft to the helm is one of my favorite areas of the 400. Uh, and this is something I'm very excited about. Another Scout patent is the convertible mezzanine. So with a touch of a button, you can very quickly, within seconds, turn this seat into a prep station you know, with a, a sink and an electric grill. So really, really awesome feature and it shows off the engineering of Scout being able to plumb the, you know, do the electrical and the plumbing and that all moves so seamlessly. You do have a little storage drawer over here 
for things like uh, you know fishing tools or your cooking utensils. Uh, and then above this setup is your electrically actuated rocket launchers. Again, another Scout patent. So with a touch of a button to bring that shade out, these rocket launchers automatically go down so you don't have to worry about moving your rods if you want to put your shade out. It's also nice that uh, Scout's done this setup with an additional switch. So if you wanted to bring those rocket launchers down just by themselves, to be able to quickly load it with the, rod, the rods and then put the rocket launchers back up. Just on the uh, other side of these rocket launchers, you have your fresh water wash down and your raw water. These are on retractable hoses. One thing that is really cool that, that Scout does on these fresh water hoses as an option is you have a hot and cold water mixer tap just behind this uh, the back seat. Uh, so you can, you know, again, on a day like today, if you were out swimming and you came back in, you can actually rinse off with warm or hot water. Speaking of Scout's engineering abilities, next thing to talk about is our beach door. And on the 400, this is a tremendous door because it's a huge cutout. So this space is wide open. I mean, you know, we're sitting here at Anchor at Lover's Key and I can just imagine all of my kids running around over here with that big swim ladder, being able to come in and out of the water easily, all while cooking on the grill. I mean, this is just really an incredible spot uh, and also very comfortable to just walk around on. And your controls for the beach door are right here. So lastly here on the transom is uh, a walkthrough on the port side, which this is also on the starboard side. And thanks to our big swim platform in front of the motors, this really allows for quick, easy access from either side of the boat uh, without tripping up on any hoses or splash well. Uh, it's a really nice feature. On the 400, we have our big couch style seat with dual live wells on port and starboard well, uh, with, a, with a clear view to what's inside them. Really a nice aesthetic they've done back here on the transom. Uh, plenty of rod holders moving along the back. So because this boat, like I said, has a chiller plate, this is a great place for keeping cold drinks. Uh, it's also another place you can throw frozen bait. Uh, and then when you do catch those fish, you have uh, port and starboard fish boxes. These are really big insulated boxes. And then Scout uses a diaphragm pump instead of a macerator. It's a, it's a really great pump. Uh, we really have really good success with them. They don't burn up. Uh, it's a duct valve that just opens and closes, and just sucks whatever in there out. And then those boxes are controlled from the vessel management or the switching system at the helm. This box here is access to your sea keeper. Uh, you have two chargers down here, your JL amp, the hydraulics for the mezzanine and the beach door, uh, and then your generator access is from here as well. And then moving back, we have our lazarette. And one thing I always talk about down here, uh, you know, as you may know, the 400 LXF is a double stepped hull. So because of that, we are getting a lot of air and water mixture underneath the hull. So in a traditional setup with multiple through holes for each raw water system, we would, we would have a pretty difficult time maintaining prime on those systems. So what Scout does is we use a sea chest. So this sea chest, it is providing, being provided water uh, by two seacocks with big heavy duty strainers. And then all of your raw water systems are pulling from the sea chest. So because of this setup, we are never losing prime to those raw water systems. And we do have quite a few on this boat. I mean, pulling raw water from the generator, the raw water pump, the sea keeper, the air conditioning, uh, and the live well. If you did have an ice maker, that would also be pulling raw water from that sea chest. Additionally to mention uh, is your air conditioning pump is here. Your diaphragm pumps uh, for the fish boxes are down here. Your reverso pump, the fresh water uh, wash down pump for the motors are accessed from here. And then you also have additional access to your generator. And then lastly, you know, being a scout, 
everything is finished, even all the way down into the bilges. So this little systems room or the lazarette, I mean, it, it, it just looks nice, just like the rest of the boat, just really attention to detail down here. And everything's laid out so nicely. It's really easily accessible, uh, really easy to work on. And then again, continuing on the detail, you know, you may have no noticed as I opened boxes, and I, I know I mentioned the door earlier, but if you look at the bottom of this lid, I mean, it's, it's completely finished fiberglass. Even the edges, they take the time to go through and finish off these edges. So everything just looks really, really nice. I mean, the, the idea that the, uh, the Potts family has when they're building the boat is they want the boat to age gracefully. And little attention to detail things like this, like finishing the, bo the bottom of boxes, using the higher quality of stainless, that's what's gonna allow a boat to age gracefully. Let's go take a look at the transom. So I know I mentioned it briefly before, but this is an area that's very easily overlooked in other manufacturers, but Scout again is continued with the detail back here. It's just a big swim platform, whereas in, in a lot of places and a lot of other manufacturers, you might have a splash well, you might have rigging tubes to trip over. You don't have that on a Scout. So back here in the transom, uh, just again, going back to some details, we have uh, lighting. So when you have, we put your boat name on the boat here, you have the ability to light that up at night. Over on the port side, because this is a 600 boat, it comes standard with the Reverso flush system. So that the uh, connection for the Reverso flush is on the port transom. And then over here on the starboard transom is our 50 amp cord. And this is on a Glendinning. So you do have to manually pull the cord out when you want to use it, but when you're ready to be done with it for the day and put it back in, you just push the button and it reels that reel, that big 50 amp reel out for you. So last but not least is our power package on this boat, which is the very popular V12 600 horse Mercury's. So speaking from personal experience, this power package is amazing on this boat. Uh, it's a twin engine setup as you can see, but with the dual prop, with the dual transmission, this boat absolutely pops out of the hole. Uh, she easily and effortlessly cruises in the low 40s. We were doing about 0 0.92, 0 0.95 miles per gallon at that speed. And then on the days where it's nice and you wanna go fast, she'll do just over 60. Like I talked about before, uh, you know, dual prop, dual transmission, great feature on, the, on these motors. They're incredibly quiet. I mean, a lot of times you forget they're running. You can easily be running 40 miles an hour and have, a, have just a really casual conversation at the helm. You're not trying to talk over the noise of the motors. And then one of the other big benefits on these motors is the access to uh, mechanicals. So you touch the button here and it pops up just like a car hood. You can quickly access uh, oil fill, oil, oil dipstick, transmission dipstick, fuses for the motor. Uh, just really well, well done by Mercury. Now that we've finished our tour on deck, let's go ahead and make our way down into the cabin. As you enter the cabin, you will see that the fit and finish and the quality isn't just on deck. It translates down into the cabin as well. Looking forward, we have a beautiful area for seating. You can watch TV. There are speakers on both sides. And when you're finished for the day, the seating in the cabin easily converts to a nice size berth. Moving aft, this boat has the optional cedar closet storage, which takes the place of the standard rod holders. You also have the entrance to the head and shower, which we'll see in a second. But then looking into the galley, this is an area where you notice that the details just continue. A beautiful backsplash in the galley, a Kenyan cooktop, a refrigerator, a sink, microwave, and then above it all is your breaker panel. Lastly, in the head and shower, a tile backsplash, a vessel sink, and a beautiful faucet, which is your sink and shower. Thank you so much for touring the Scout 400 LXF. As you can see, this boat is loaded up with options, and of course, she's beautiful. But you really, it's something you gotta come and see in person. Uh, you, you need to touch and feel the quality and the craftsmanship of a Scout. If you haven't done that, we are in Southwest Florida. Uh, this boat lives in Fort Myers Beach at one of our locations. We're also in Naples and Sarasota and St. Pete. 
So we would love the opportunity to show you this boat or any of all the other Scout models. Uh, it, if you want to do that, please just call us, email us, uh, just come and see us. We'd love to host you. I'm Alex Wilkes with the Biage Group. Thank you again for touring the Scout 400 LXF.